everyone. My name is Yasin, and in this short video, I will show you how you can create your own personal board for your own tickets in order to keep track of all your work in Jira Cloud. So the idea is very easy. Instead of using your work page to see the different tickets you're working on, and probably you'll be missing some of the, of some of the tickets, or instead of using filters, um, or instead of using multiple boards, to see all your work, so all the tickets you are related uh, or you are involved in, we will then create a board as a solution and gather all the tickets that we have and plot them on that board. And you will then be able to work uh, or to gather all your tickets, see them in one space and uh, work on them. So, um, to build this, we will need two basic features in Jira. We will need a filter, um, which will then search all of our tickets. So tickets which we created, tickets which are assigned to us, and uh, tickets uh, where, we, uh, where someone mentioned us in the description field or in a comment, or tickets which we watched. So that's the first part. And the second part, we will be creating a personal board. So this is actually the great feature in Jira. Instead of creating, uh, of course, you can create team boards which are assigned to certain projects. Um, you can create your personal board. So let's do that. So um, as you know, you have your work here. You can see tickets you're working on. It looks nice. It's not that bad, but we can improve it, um, especially for those who are used to work with boards. So to do this, um, um, so I'll show you first the list of projects that I'm having here. So the development environment. So we have different projects, different teams where I'm involved in. And what we will do then, we will go to filters and create a uh, a query or a GQL, which will then list all of our tickets. So what are my tickets? First, tickets that are assigned to me. So I'll say assignee equal current user. That's the first step. I have one ticket, that's nice. And then we will say assignee, which maybe I created myself. I would like to see them on my board to see their status. And I will do then um, reporter equal as well, current uh, user. Oops. I didn't create, uh, sorry, that's not an end. That should be an or. I create a couple of tickets. And what else do we have? We have as well tickets which I'm watching. Um, and that's um, watcher equal current user. All right. Um, then we have tickets where I am or where someone mentioned me, mentioned my username using the at symbol. And we get that using and text um, uh, contains um, current user as well. And that's or, and of course this is an or. All right, so we have 10 tickets in general. So these are basically my tickets. Um, of course, if you have other tickets which you would like to track or to show in your board, for example, tickets containing the label project A or something like that. So you just have to write it and it will be of course shown on the board, which will be uh, using this filter. So first let's save this filter and let's call it um, my personal board filter. All right, so that's the first step. Here you get your tickets. If you have, of course, too much tickets here, if you have like thousand tickets, then it makes probably sense to reduce that, maybe using the created date or updated date. All right, so the next step is to go to search and create a board. So go to search, click on boards, and then create board. Let's choose Kanban to keep it simple. And then we will say um, from an existing saved filter, 
next. Let's name this my personal board. Save it filter uh, my personal board filter and the location, uh, of course the owner is myself and the location, let's say it's not related to a project, it's related to personal. So we're not seeing that, I'll zoom out. So this is the most important step. Instead of selecting a project, select personal, your own user, and then create board. And voila, so here you have all your tickets uh, which the filter did return and they are plotted here. Of course, uh, if you have Jira software, you can then do further settings like maybe changing the columns depending on different statuses you have. By default, you will have only to do in progress and done categories, but you can definitely switch that. You can activate a, a backlog. You can do everything that you can do within, um, yeah, within any, any board. To find that board, always go to boards and then click on my board or maybe save that link somewhere. Um, alternatively, of course, you can click on your boards here and you find that board. So that's it. Let's put some tickets to done. I hope you can as well implement this and that you don't have any restrictions within your board in creating filters or create a shared filters or creating any boards. If you have that, contact your admin. Um, in any case, you can contact me and I'll be definitely very happy um, to uh, answer your questions concerning this part or any other Jira Cloud related questions. Enjoy.